Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Royal Golf Course. The Royal Golf Course. It is simple, really. To play golf, you just hit the ball into the hole. There. Is that it? It's a bit boring. It would be more fun if we had little hills to hit the ball up and down. Knocking your ball up hills and around corners is called crazy golf. That sounds great. Please, Daddy, can we play crazy golf? We are playing normal golf. Wow! Where did these hills come from? Daddy must have magicked them. Thanks, Daddy. I didn't magic these hills. Then who did? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Wise old elf. Good morning, King Thistle. Who made these hills on my golf course? <laughs> A mole, your majesty. Well, get rid of it. We've been trying to chase it away all morning, your majesty. Don't you know how to get rid of moles, wise old elf? Er, uh, no. Then who does? Nanny Plum. She can talk to it. She speaks all animal languages. Of course. Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, Nanny Plum. You talk to animals, don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Then can you tell this mole to leave my golf course? Er. Uh, no, Your Majesty. What? I can't speak mole. It's one of the more difficult animal languages, along with aardvark. But can't you use magic to get rid of the mole? There is one magical method to get rid of moles, but unfortunately it uses a gnome. What's that? A gnome, Your Majesty, is a sort of elf with a big tummy. What? Gnomes are nothing like elves. They eat too much, talk too much, and never do any work. I don't care what you use, just get rid of that mole. OK, I'll fetch us a gnome. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams are goo. I'll sing my song and strum along with a fall de do de do. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will come back. What? Then you must stay. As long as it takes. Of course. Getting rid of moles uses a lot of energy. And my tummy is very empty. Nanny Plum, get this gnome some food. Very well, Your Majesty. A sack of cheese sandwiches with a bucket of tea. I say, you are hungry. I will also need some workers. Absolutely. Wise old elf, I command you to do whatever the gnome says. As you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Not at all. Just let me know when you're finished so I can play my golf. Of course, Your Royalness. <clears throat> I am the wise old elf. I look after this royal golf course, and my knowledge of it is second to none. Can you use a shovel? Uh, yes. Good. The first job is to flatten these hills. My name's Ben. And I'm Princess Holly. 
But you can call me Holly. That's nice. You can call me Mr. Gnome. I need a deck chair and a fishing rod. Why do you need a fishing rod? On a golf course. So I can pretend to fish. Pretend to fish? Moles don't like it when I pretend to fish. Now quick, before the mole comes back. Abracadabra cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh dear. I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills. So, um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. Ah, is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? No, that would be silly. They go with the windmill. Ah, good work, wise old elf. Thank you. Goodbye. Finally, I will need a little bridge. What? A plastic well and a little picket fence. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used gnomes. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh. They make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Nine needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well... I don't think it ever will be, Your Royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This
This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun. Oh, OK. What do I do? Just hit the ball through the little windmill. And into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> 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 